All right, so if you're gonna make the investment to store your own dry goods uh, for long-term storage, uh, where you can get, depending on what it is, anywhere from 20 to 30 years of storage, uh, there's, there's, there is an investment to it. Uh, the main piece is this right here. So this is our can sealer. Uh, it's a manual model uh, and it'll seal the number 10 cans. Uh, you can also buy uh, adapter, a uh, different set to seal up smaller cans, but all of our dry goods are in a number 10 can. You fit six to a case and depending on what you're doing, that gives you anywhere from uh, say 35 pounds of wheat up to um, about the same in beans, a little bit over. Uh, and then if you're doing uh, sugar, salt, or anything like that, it's, it's, it's quite heavy, about 50 pounds. Uh, goes in a, in a single case. So here we just uh, take our opportunity to, to show you this little process. Uh, what we're gonna close up today is just a little bit of pinot beans. Uh, we're not gonna put an oxygen absorber uh, in this can uh, because we're, we're probably gonna open this one right back up and use it. This is just some uh, small one pound bags that we had on hand uh, to close up in this just to show you kind of how this piece of equipment works. So uh, this is built in Wisconsin, so it's American made. Uh, it's, it's not a cheap uh, piece of equipment. Uh, I don't remember exactly what this costs, but it's several hundred dollars, uh, but it's well worth it. Uh, if you're gonna be storing up that kind of quantity, uh, to do a year's worth you could easily buy this store everything up and then sell it again somebody else would be happy to buy it second hand uh, you're not going to wear it out uh, we use also to if other people want uh, to store up some stuff you know we have it here and, and we'll help them out with that so so normally what we'll do is fill the can all the way up and uh Assume you can see that. And normally we'll put an oxygen absorber in here. I believe it's a, a 300 cc. It's, it's good for more than a, a number 10 can, uh, but that's what we'll do. So we'll, we'll do a whole bunch of them at once. So when you open up those oxygen absorbers, toss them all on, put the lids on, and then we'll run them through the machine. Uh, like I said, it's manual crank. There are some people that motorize this. Uh, kind of iffy on that, uh, no harder than it is. They do offer an electric model, it makes it pretty handy. And when you're going to do a large quantity, say you've got several families together to do that, uh, that's, that's pretty nice to have. It, uh, it can be a little finicky at times, uh, getting everything set up correctly. But uh, it, you know, this, I don't remember how many cranks this take, we'll find out here in just a second, but uh, it's been a while since we closed anything up, but uh, this, this works great. And it's about a third of the price of the electric model. So. Can goes on, it's pretty self-centering. Raise it up in place. And then what happens is you turn it, these dies on either arm here, they'll come in one and then the other, and they have a little different profile. Uh, one starts folding the lid down, and then the other one actually crimps it and seals it up good, so. See the first one come in. It backs out, and this one comes in. Finish the sealing it off, and that's it. When that one backs away, you're done. Pop it down. That's sealed up tight. So if that had an oxygen absorber in there that we... So as soon as you open the oxygen absorbers, they start working, and you need to get them closed up as quickly as possible. So we'll have all the cans filled, there's 10 absorbers in a pack. We'll get 10 cans ready. You don't fill it up, get the lids ready. We'll put the absorbers in, throw the lid on, and run them through real quick, seal them up. So that way your oxygen absorber only has to work on the air in here and you're not wasting it on, on the atmosphere. So do 10 at a time, it goes pretty quick. And now that's good for 25 to 30 years uh, when it's sealed up properly. So. Uh, again, we just wanted to show you, this is another aspect of, uh, you know, you, your own food security. Uh, I mean, make of it what you want as far as, you know, what you think people doing this. But, uh, you know, I, I feel like it's a component uh, 
that if you don't want to be dependent upon anybody else whenever something happens, you know, why, you know, we grow gardens for varying reasons. You want good food, you want to know where your food comes from, that you want to have food there when you need it, right? So, like I said, there's seasons to that. This kind of extends your season too. You know, kind of hope you never need it, but we get into it, we'll use it. Uh, so we use the wheat. Uh, we've canned up uh, pasta and had it. It's pretty nice. Uh, you know, be out of pasta, you want to make some uh, macaroni and tomatoes or something, you got a can you can use if you want to. You don't have to run to the store. So uh, while there's a little bit of investment in this, um, closing them up, you know, you, you don't uh, enjoy opening the cans because you know, you know that you can't reuse that can, but if you have to, it's nice to have uh, and it's a little bit of an insurance policy. So um, I don't know what else to, to show you on this part of it, uh, but I think we'll uh, probably throw up a little something uh, showing uh, the recommended amounts uh, per person. So, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll include that in the video too. And you can do a little research on that if you want. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, we'll try to help however we can. And we'll just uh, add this one into our, our, our outreach of education and the, and the things we want to share with people. So appreciate it. When you've had enough, when the crowd gets rough, gotta stand up straight, gonna rise like a champion. When your cloud goes dark, when you lose your heart, gotta stand up straight, gonna rise like a champion. Cause we all